Hey guys, it's Max, and we're back with Battle Code 2016. I'm playing some awesome music because we're going to do something a little less exciting in this video, if you can believe that. We're going to do some organization. We've got all our stuff in one file here. Let's make it into pieces so it's easier to manage and we don't have to scroll up and down so much. I'm going to copy the package here with Control C and then Control V. Uh, making sure to select the package first. Then I'll change the name to Lecture Player 2. Then I'll close this robot player because it'll get me confused with the identical copy here. Now I'm going to take all the functions that are related to movement and moving variables around and I'm going to put them in a utility package so that I don't have to have them cluttering up my main player. So we'll call it utility.java you can call it whatever you want, really. And it's going to look a lot like this one. We're going to just copy a bunch of pieces. And the class name is Utility. Okay. So then we just copy the pieces and move them over. So let's move these variable names over. And then we'll move over these two functions, forwardish and join robot info, both of which are they're very nitty-gritty detail oriented and we want our sort of basic strategy in robot player now it gives me a bunch of errors RC cannot be resolved this is the whole chocolate distribution problem also known as variable scoping we need to access RC inside here from where it is out here in robot player how do we do that well one option is we could type robot player dot RC in every place but that's kind of a lot of typing Another option is at the beginning of the method, we could declare robot controller rc equals robot player dot rc at the beginning of each method. It's kind of ugly. I think we'll just go with that because it's quick. Okay, now we need to access these methods from here. Fastest way to do that, just type the name of the file at the beginning. Now, if it's still got a problem, it says the method is not visible. That's because you can set whether a method is visible or not by setting it private or public. That can be convenient if you want to hide things to prevent them from getting too complicated looking. For our purposes, we'll just make everything puple. Pup puple? Public. All right, and like that, we're all set. So we've got a much cleaner uh, build here, and the next time that we meet, we'll do something super cool and organized. See you next time.